Hey guys, uh, Willie here with Outdoor Freaks. Um, today we're going to review the stick and pick trail camera stand. Uh, this trail camera stand mounts to any tree or fence post uh, that you might have. Um, you're probably familiar with the stick and pick trail camera stand that mounts into the ground, that you stick into the ground. It is amazing. Um, I think it's the best trail camera stand out there, hands down. Um, and this is going to be a close second. The reason that this is so great is the versatility. Just like the other trail camera stand that Stick and Pick makes, um, there's pretty much no limitations. And they have both, you know, both fields of thought covered. Um, whether you, you know you're secure and you're safe, and you have confidence enough of putting a, a camera and just stick it in the ground and leaving it, which I certainly do. Um, but if you like it, having it attached to a tree, um, they've got this product now uh, to accommodate those people. This strap here that attaches, it attaches just like a pull strap um, on a stand, on a lone wolf stand or the lone wolf sticks, um, where you pretty much just cinch it tight and pull it tight. It also has two holes that you can put a screw or a nail in um, that secures uh, the, the stand to a tree or to a fence post. When I use mine, I don't normally use the strap. I don't like the idea of being able to see something unnatural um, at all angles. I think that's kind of awkward just for me personally. I'm not a big fan of that. But that's why I use the two hole. Um, I, I, put, I nail mine to the tree. Uh, Cody was down a few weekends ago. He videoed it um, and it's, it, it works amazing. It's, it's incredible. Like the, the, the ground blind, what makes the, or the ground blind, the ground um, stand, what makes this tree mount for trail cameras so incredible is the versatility. I can move it up, I can move it down. You can face it down, you can put it on a, a tree that a scrape is in, you can kind of face it down, you can get a bird's eye view of that deer. It, it's incredible. You can be so creative with these trail camera stands that Stick and Pick has, it's awesome. It, it, it's, it gives you a complete new dimension in the trail cameras. You're not just you know putting it, tying it up to a tree and, and letting it go and hoping what goes on. Now you can be more aggressive and get really neat pictures, um, which is just badass. I love that. Okay, so you can move them up and down. You know, just a simple twist, obviously very fast, like the other mount that Stick and Pick makes. And you can go all around. If, if my camera was smaller, it could go all the way around this tree. The other thing that Stick and Pick has is the Atticam bracket. You can put a slide an Atticam bracket on here, and you can have two cameras. On each side, you can have one. So you can have one camera, say, facing this way, monitoring this side of the field. And you can have another camera on this side, monitoring that side of the field. Um, maybe you got an area that has a fence line that goes right through both fields. You have permission, or you own. This is the solution for that. Or even a finger that juts out into to a field. This is just, it's awesome. It's so badass. I cannot even tell you. Um, check them out. Stickandpick.com. Uh, you're going to see these stands on all my trail cameras that I've been setting up, taking pictures with. Um, I just got some pictures recently of a gobbler strutting. Um, that was sticking, I stuck that camera right in the middle of the cornfield, um, or right in the middle, right on the edge of the cornfield, and uh, the birds have been in there like crazy. And, you know, without the stick and pick, I wouldn't be able to do that. This, um, this mount here, it has helped me locate turkeys already this year. I shot a gobbler last Tuesday. I had this camera up and this mount up. It was up um, probably not, not very tall, six, seven feet tall, overlooking a 45 acre uh, CRP field that we had just recently burned off. Uh, stick and pick showed them, you know, okay, birds are using the area. So, you know, nine, nine out of 10 times they're gonna come from the east side. So I set up, come out of the east, wham, bam, it's over. Um, it can be that easy. It's not always that easy, obviously, uh, but the stick and pick definitely helps um, trail camera monitoring tenfold. Um, I suggest you get one. I suggest you get ten uh, Just because they're sweet plus Jesse's a legit dude, and uh, they're just good dudes. So um, That's about it check them out stick and pick uh, They're on Facebook. I don't know if they have Twitter or not. Jesse's kind of old for that, but uh, check it out. It's pretty sweet. Peace